In this video, I'm going to be introducing week 10 of the course. And in week 10, we're going to be taking a look at the structured query language, which is also called SQL or SQL, and reports in Microsoft Access. This is going to be a more tutorial heavy week, which means that we're not going to have any lectures. Instead, we're going to have tutorial videos, as you should be used to as we've done this format a few times before. So now on to the content for this week. So we have two big video tutorials and one set of slide tutorials. And this is the path I recommend going through the material. So start with the SQL tutorial slides posted on OWL, then the SQL tutorial video, and you should try following along with this video. So I do have some of the databases posted. They're ones we've used in past weeks. So do have them downloaded on your computer and try to follow around along with those videos and write your own SQL statements. And then watch more of the video and see if yours matched up with my solution and if you got the right results. Then we're going to have our reports tutorial. This is going to show how to use Microsoft Access reports that you may have read about in that Access chapter of your textbook. And finally, there's some optional things. There'll be a few optional tutorials that I link to on OWL that will be on third party websites. And as always, you're free to ask any questions in the OWL forms or send them to my email. And now on to the participation activity. And this is going to be an easier one this week. All you have to do is complete the proctor track onboarding process. And I do have a video available for how to do this. It should be linked to on the week 10 page of our OWL course site. And it will take you through the whole onboarding process and explain what proctor track is. To do this, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need a webcam, your student ID card, and a clean and quiet area to do the onboarding. So once you've completed this successfully, proctor track will send you an email letting you know that onboarding was successful. So this is critically important because it's not just for participation points, it enables you to actually do the final exam. Now, what is onboarding? Basically, this is just gonna be a simulated, very simple exam. It's not gonna have any real questions. Instead, it's just gonna get you familiar with the process of installing ProctorTrack, running it, going through the steps to set it up, as well as taking sort of a dummy quiz on OWL. That's not gonna have real questions, it's just gonna have questions about the exam itself. So do make sure you do that as early as possible, because if there's issues with your computer or with your webcam or something like that, you're going to need to know right away and have enough time to fix them or buy a new webcam or something like that. So do take a look at that video and make sure you get started on that onboarding process right away. That's all I have for you in this video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.